Have you ever been caught in a downpour and thought, man, I wish I had a laser umbrella? No, just me? Well today, we're diving into that exact, slightly crazy question. Could you actually use a laser to stop the rain? Let's break it down. To stop a raindrop you need to turn it from a liquid into a gas. Basically you need to vaporize it. Water has a high specific heat capacity and a high heat of vaporization. That's just a fancy way of saying it takes a ton of energy to boil water away. A single average sized raindrop requires about 0.08 joules of energy to vaporize completely. That might not sound like much, but when you're talking about a moderate rain shower, you're looking at thousands, even millions of raindrops falling every single second over the area of a typical umbrella. So, could a laser deliver that much energy? Absolutely. High-powered industrial lasers can slice through steel, so a few raindrops are no problem. The real challenge is the speed. To protect you, the laser system would need to track and zap every single incoming raindrop in a fraction of a second before it hits you. This would require an incredibly fast and sophisticated tracking system, like the phalanx CIWS used on naval ships to shoot down incoming missiles. It's essentially a Gatling gun that creates a wall of lead. Our laser umbrella would need to do the same, but with beams of light. Imagine a device on your shoulder with a super-fast camera and a powerful laser. The camera detects the raindrops, the computer calculates their trajectory, and the laser fires a precise high-energy pulse to vaporize each one, creating a tiny puff of steam. You'd be walking through a personal, steamy, miniature cloud, completely dry. So, theoretically, yes, it's possible. But let's talk about the practical side. First, the power source. A laser that powerful would need a massive battery pack. You'd basically be carrying a car battery on your back. Not exactly convenient. Then there's the safety issue. We're talking about a laser powerful enough to instantly boil water. If you accidentally pointed it at someone's eye, or even just their skin, it would cause severe, instantaneous damage. Not to mention the risk of hitting birds, planes, or anything else in the sky. So, while the idea of a laser umbrella is incredibly cool and technically within the realm of possibility, the practical and safety hurdles are enormous. For now, it seems that the good old-fashioned low-tech fabric umbrella is still the reigning champion of staying dry. It's cheaper, safer, and doesn't require a military-grade power supply. What do you think? Is the laser umbrella the future, or just a fun sci-fi dream? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this little thought experiment, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into wild ideas. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.